Yeah, hey, this is Independent TV7. On to NASA Republic, debating Kano's release. Two other stories and a cult to remember. Uh, last week, a recommendation with uh, which I sought to see the release of the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB Mazen Abdekanu, at the House of Representatives. It uh, did not go well. We tracked through all the stories uh, from Nigeria's uh, legislative chamber within the week under review. Releasing Canon, which is the first on the line, on July 6th, Honorable Ginger, Onsi Bay, uh, representing Isala Ngwano Federal Constituency of Abia State. Um, now, while proposing an amendment to a motion. Uh, sponsored by Eze Wanchuku uh, from a boy state, uh, which sought to forestall the killings in a boy. Aoku uh, Federal constituency now argue that the killings in the south is a region where because of Kanu's uh, continued de- de- detention. Aosibe asked the house to urge President Bola Thinubu to see a way of releasing him, uh, which is Kanu, so as to restore peace in the entire southeast. However, the deputy majority leader of the House, Abdullahi Halims, uh, opposed on Sibay's uh, proposal, noting that the House should not delve into the matter as it was still before the court. And the ongoing debates uh, characterize the essence of democracy and show why the legislature is a ground where varied opinions that uh, could be freely traded and the uh, Co- concessions made in favor of majority views. Uh, while it may, may be true that the matter is before the courts, the Kanu saga, however, presents a unique uh, scenario as it is one in which uh, the president can exercise his uh, constitutional right of uh, granting uh, clemency on grounds of a uh, political expedi- expediency. Yeah. The nation awaits on Tinubu as he declares intention to end massive uh, insecurity sweeping across different uh, regions of the country. Now, the Kano saga, no doubt, uh, will remain an acid uh, test in uh, Nas Memory Lane. I uh, will said, As I am speaking to you, I have uh, 75 senators that I have signed uh, the candidature of Senator Apabio as the uh, next Senate president. Those few former governors of the party. Who are now the uh, senators uh, elect opposing the candidature of uh, Akpabio does not in any way encroach on the fact that Akpabio already has 75 senators elect on our side. All advantages are on our side. And now, the two other stories, which is the second as Akpabio woos the investors, the president of the Senate. The Senate goes to Apabio on July 6th uh, with foreign investors emphasizing that Nigeria remains a fertile land to invest as they are assured of returns on investment. Apabio gave uh, assurance that while uh, receiving a delegation from a Jampo international group uh, led by its uh, CEO, Mohammed uh, Shafiq in Abuja. I welcome you on behalf of the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Nigeria is a very safe and ready country and ready for investors. I am aware you are already investing in Nigeria in the area of mining power and uh, trading. He said, investing in Nigeria is worth uh, the while because of the returns in investments based on our population of over 200 million and uh, the land mass. Every political leader is by appointment a says man for his country, and Akpabio cannot be faulted in his delivery. Sad enough, a try as hard as he may, there are hard realities to contend with, uh, which many discerning investors uh, would pretend not to see. While uh, insecurity and corruption still remain uh, perversive, the promised uh, ease of doing business uh, policy appears to be working only on uh, paper. It is clear that a lot of work needs to be done to boost investor confidence, and uh, the Senate president must admit that that much. And number three, ending boundary disputes in the Boeing. 
On July 6, the House of Representatives agreed to set up an ad hoc committee that would investigate the remote and the immediate cause of the age-long boundary dispute between Abamege and the Insinkwa communities in Onicha, local government area of Eboi. Now, area of Eboi State, uh, which has claimed lives and seen uh, properties uh, destroyed since it started in 1912. Uh, this was a sequel to a resolution moved by a member representing Oazara Onisha and the uh, Ivo Federal Constituency, Honorable Inkem Kama Kama. Inkem Kama Kama. Okay. The most recent uh, resurgence has claimed uh, more than 20 innocent victims, which he noted. The resolution of the House is a reminder of the many artificial line, lines that have combined to separate one's uh, fraternal uh, societies and caused the communities to become battlegrounds, largely exploited by the political class for narrow gains. It is doubtful how much progress uh, the national lawmakers can make beyond appealing to conscience. In the end, the communities must own uh, the solutions by speaking truth to the issues and allowing uh, for genuine dialogue. Now, there is an answer as from Senator Ali Undume. Now, Undume made a statement on June 7, 2023, when he appeared on China's television program Politics Today. Undume is a former senator and a former Senate leader. He represents a Bonu South Senatorial District. Now, a balance of fearless journalism driven by data comes at huge financial cost. Well, uh, as it is, I would say, it is no doubt how much progress the nas national lawmakers can make beyond appealing to conscience. In the end, the communities must own the solutions by speaking truth to the issues and allowing for genuine uh, dialogue. And uh, concerning the debating Canus, uh, on Canus release, uh, two other stories, and uh, also uh, it was being uh, tracked by other stories from Nigeria Legislative uh, Chamber within the week under review. Which uh, the first one says a uh, releasing canoe on July 6th on Rebujinja on Bay representing the Siala North Federal Constituency of Abia State while proposing an amendment to a motion sponsored by Eze Nwachuku from Eboy State, uh, which sought uh, to forestall the killings in Eboy Oaku uh, Federal Constituency and also argued that the killings in the southeast region were because of canoes uh, continued detention. Hmm. Well, I don't really know where it's coming from. We may be uh, Kano should be released and uh, let us see. Maybe the killing will stop, or there is another narrative for killing people or killing themselves. Now, if the killing in the southeast has not stopped because Kano was incarcerated or Kano is still in the custody of the DSS, uh, that means that the killing in the northern part of the country is still caused by Kano. Even before Kano emerged uh, as a captivator or whatever. I would say <laughs> we should tread carefully in Nigeria because what goes around must really come around. Well, this one I'm going to draw the curtain. I'd like to share your views in the comment section. Thanks for listening and God bless you.